Hello friends, how are you? I hope all of you are doing really, really, really good. So let's continue with our cost accounting standard series. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please, 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 please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications. And very importantly, paper number eight, cost accounting study mat series is available on our Android and the iOS mobile app. The links are given in the video description. Download the app and these notes, cost accounting standard notes are available free of cost on the app itself. You can download it from there and read it. You can print it out. You can download, print out, uh, take the printout of this cost accounting standards and the transfer pricing also, right? And if you want to join the study mat series, then you can join it from the store section of the mobile app. Okay, so let's continue with our cost accounting standard four, that is production, acquisition, supply of goods and provision of services. See, uh, this cost accounting standard four, this is a revised cost accounting standard. Earlier, this cost, uh, cost accounting standard was on captive consumption. Captive consumption. What is captive consumption? That is you manufactured a product and you consumed it within your production unit. Right, so that is captive consumption. That is uh, within your uh, business, uh, you are consuming the good that you are manufacturing. Okay, but now after the application of the GST, this cost accounting standard was revised. It was it came into applicability from first of March two thousand and nineteen. Right, so it is production acquisition, supply of goods or provision of services. So there are three things that they are covering. That if you are manufacturing the goods, then how the cost is to be determined. If you are acquiring the goods, let's say you are acquiring the raw material, then how the cost is to be determined. Supply is if you are selling the goods, then how the cost, total cost of sales is to be determined. Right? So if we talk about goods, there are three things that they are talking about. One, that if you are a manufacturer, then what is the production cost? Then what is the acquisition cost? Acquisition can be related to now here the goods not only mean the finished goods, it means the raw material also, it means the WIP also, it means the finished goods also, right? So acquisition also and then the supply of finished goods. And regarding the services, they say provision of services that if you are a service provider, then how you can identify how you can uh, calculate your cost of providing the services. So this is about cost accounting standard four, right? Now, if you see the notes, uh, there are a lot of things in the principle and measurement that are given. You just have to go through. I will give you the crux. I will tell you that how to read this thing, right? Okay, let's start with this. This standard deals with the principles and the methods of classification, measurement and assignment for the determination of the cost of production or the acquisition or supply of goods or provision of services as required under the provision of GST Act or rules. The objective of this standard is to bring uniformity and consistency in the principles and methods of determining the cost of production or acquisition or supply of goods or the provision of services as required under the provision of GST Act, right? So after the introduction of GST, this cost accounting standard four was revised. The scope remains the same with that what you have to determine, determination of the cost of production of goods, cost of acquisition of goods, cost of supply of goods, cost of provision or supply of services, determination of the value of supply of goods or the services as per the open market value or as per the goods and services of like kind or quality that if you are manufacturing a good or if you are providing a services for which you can uh, not directly identify the cost that is incurred, right? Then there are alternative ways that in the market, what, what is the value of that? Or uh, if there is any kind of a like product, like kind of a product, similar product is there or a similar kind of service is there in the market, then what is the price of that? Based on that, you can identify your value, clear? So this fifth point is regarding that. So this is the scope. Then comes the definition cost of purchase or acquisition. The cost of purchase or acquisition of goods comprise of purchase price, import duties and other taxes. Now, when we are talking about other taxes, you need to be very careful that all those taxes on which the ITC is available, that is the input tax credit is available. You, have, uh, you are uh, studying GST 
in that you have studied about the input tax credit that means on from one hand you are giving uh, the tax and on the other side you are taking back that tax right the, in the form of credit so if the input tax credit is available that tax will not form part of cost right net of trade discount rebate taxes and duties on which the itc is available right uh, then you have to include the transportation cost handling storage and other cost transit insurance can be there directly attributable to the acquisition of goods and services so regarding this always remember one simple rule that any cost any cost which is incurred from the time you place an order for the raw material till the time it reaches your store all the cost in between is to be included in the cost of purchase or acquisition right excluding those taxes on which you will get the itc okay then cost of production of goods for this cost accounting standard the most important thing is that you should be clear with your chapter of cost sheet because each and every rule is from the cost sheet itself now cost of production co how do you calculate the cost of production of goods we have uh, discussed about it sir very simple direct material plus direct labor plus direct expenses this is your prime cost plus factory overheads plus uh, other production overheads other production overheads so all these comprise of the cost of production right so cost of production of a product consists of the material consumed direct wages and salaries direct expenses works overhead or factory overhead quality control cost research development cost packing cost right administrative overheads related to production now when we are talking about packing cost the packing cost can be of two types one is primary packing the other one is secondary packing here we talk about primary packing right primary packing is the first packing in which your good will be stored secondary packing is the additional packing for sale purposes that your product reaches the customer in a safe way to arrive at the cost of production of good dispatched for captive consumption this captive consumption co uh, concept is all, almost over now right adjustment for stock in wip finished goods recoveries for the sale of scrap all these are otherwise also to be adjusted so you should know the rules as per the cost sheet that what are the rules for adjustment of wip we are adjusting it from factory overheads then uh, finished goods to reach at the cost of goods sold clear recoveries for the sale of scrap now when we are talking about scrap scrap can be of two types if we are talking about the scrap scrap can be scrap of directly raw material or scrap during the production process so the treatment is different for both right if it is a raw material scrap that is you receive the raw material it was somewhat defective you have to scrap it it cannot be returned it cannot be used you have to uh, scrap it and there is a the recovery from the sale of that scrap of the raw material then it is to be deducted from the cost of direct material whereas if it is related to the production process then we adjust it from the cost of production clear wastages etc shall be made the cost of provision of services now in case of provision of services what is the main motive the main motive is providing the services if you are providing some components along with that that is a different thing right like in our example our main motive is providing the education to you which is a service if we are providing the books that is ancillary to providing the services if we provide only the books and do not provide any lectures to you will you be able to study no sir right so the main motive here is providing the services in the form of education and providing the books along with that is a ancillary thing okay so cost of provision of services consists of the cost of material consumed yes whatever the cost we are providing for the books that will form the part of cost of a service direct employee cost direct expenses quality control cost research and development cost operation overheads and administration overheads relating to provision of services the basic remains the same that here in case of goods uh, in place of goods we are providing the services rest all the expenditures will be there right so uh, regarding the principles of measurement just go through all these principles right just go through all these principles what you will get is all these are principles which we have studied in the chapter of cost sheet right all these are related to what we have studied in the chapter of cost sheet each and everything whether it is related to the scrap whether it is related to the taxes 
right? If the ta if the this input tax credit is available on the taxes, whether you have to take it or not, now scrap related to RM or scrap related to production, then administration overheads related to production or general administration overheads, if there is research and development cost, royalty cost, then how we should be treating the different things, right? All these are the rules related to the cost sheet only because when we are talking about calculating the cost of acquisition, then we are talking about only the acquisition part, right? Uh, in that the uh, carriage invert will be there, freight invert which we call it, transit insurance will be there. All this we have studied in the chapter of cost sheet. Right? So just go through the rules once. I provided you the notes. You can download it from our app. Just go through it once. Right? You will be able to easily understand if you have gone it through, if you have gone through the chapter of cost sheet. But if you are not clear with the chapter of cost sheet, then I will say first do the chapter of cost sheet and then read uh, all this. Right? Then is the assignment of cost, the cost of production or acquisition or the supply of goods or provision of services shall be determined on the normal cost basis, right? Th that means if there is any abnormal cost, that should not form the part of your, this cost, okay? Cost of production or acquisition or supply because that will directly go to your costing profit and loss account, okay? While assi assigning the various elements, traceability to goods and services in an economically feasible manner shall be the guiding principle. Effective date is 1st of March 2000 and 19 and it will apply for the preparation and certification of the cost accounting statements for determining the cost of production acquisition supply of goods provision of services as required under the provision of GST act or rules from the financial year 1819 right so earlier it was captive consumption then after the introduction of GST in 2017 this cost accounting standard was revised right so there are revisions the cost accounting standards they revise the cost accounting standards as per the requirement as per the need of the industry as per the changing taxation scenarios so there are a lot of factors right as uh, we see there are changes in the accounting standards also same way the cost accounting standards also change right so this was all about cost accounting standard 4 please go through these note once because uh, this will give you a lot of clarity okay this is not like you have to skip this you have to read it with uh, in mind you have to keep that all the principles of the cost sheet right in case you feel any doubt you can contact us through email that is ksjteaching at gmail.com all the links are given in the video description right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy keep studying keep sharing thank you so much